Now I'll show you how to modify an SLO using our command line interface and YAML. You'll notice that our YAML sticks very closely to Kubernetes in terms of its syntax and semantics. What I have here is a service definition inside of Noble 9, an SLO set including the configuration of the time window, it's one week and rolling, and then the SLO itself. And here you can see the two thresholds. I have a first threshold at 200 millis and two nines, and then I have a second threshold set up with two and a half nines at 500 millis. And if I just pop open a terminal, I can demonstrate. We have a small Go binary called Slow Cuddle. We're also looking at offering this in a Kubernetes operator as CRDs and also as a Terraform provider, but I can retrieve the same SLO and in here some additional data you can see for example, here's my two and a half nines. Let's say that our customer support team in the postmortem said that we'd like to add a, a third threshold here because our customers experienced some really severe latency, uh, let's say over a second at three and a half nines, and they actually described that as horrible. So I'll type it as horrible. Now I'll save it, probably commit it, push it, pull request it, and then our CI CD system eventually runs this command to apply it. And here you can see that threshold is immediately available in Noble Knight.